Hi there everybody and welcome to The Last Door, another indie horror game playthrough that I hope you're going to enjoy. This game came out quite a while ago actually. Uh, you can actually play most of it for free, as I understand, on Game Jolt or uh, IndieDB, one of those sites, maybe, maybe Game Jolt. Um, but I actually got the Collector's Edition uh, quite a while ago because I thought the game looked really, really good and I probably saved it for a playthrough just like this. Uh, it says continue down there, but I don't believe I've played the game, or at least much of it. And I thought while I'm playing through Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem, it would be nice if I play through a game blind. Because I know how much you like that. So I think we're going to go to, what, episodes? Uh, and I guess start episode one. The letter. Restart episode, yes. No idea what progress I made, so start over. Yeah, sure. <laughs> really hope you enjoy this. After all the things I have seen... Okay, so this is essentially going to be a 2D, pixelated, point-and-click horror game, as far as I understand. And I actually don't even remember this screen, so did I even get this far? Who knows? Do I have an inventory or anything? I can I can move if I click somewhere. Okay, oh, hang on. What's this? Something... Ah, I'm picking it up. Okay. There's a painting over there. A window, table, vase. What? Ah, I can use this as well. Pick up a... Hmm, okay. After all the things I have done... Oh, it's a chair. Okay. Of course, it being very pixelated, it's kind of hard to determine what exactly I'm looking at. Okay, so it's a chair. Oh. Oh, I think. I think that was a rope that I picked up first. I cannot escape the course my life has taken. It is, yeah. This isn't going to end well, or, or start well, can, you know, considering the videos just started. Now I am beyond redemption. Oh, he's even got the noose. I like it. Okay, well... Okay, now we need to use the chair. I just hope you can forgive me someday. For what? For what? Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. Great! Main character's dead. The last door! <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Interesting start. I like the music. Okay, October 1891. Videte ne quis sciat. What does that mean? That was all my childhood friend, Anthony Beechworth, had written in his letter. It had been many years since I had heard that sentence. It was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we had secretly run as students, back where we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. But we had left it all behind, like mere childhood memories. That letter was unusual. It could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex and made my way to the address on the letter. And there it was. The old house of Anthony's family. The Beechworth Manor. It's a nice place. A little bit too square and pixely for me, but... Oh, here we go. Episode 1, The Letter. Episode 1, I think there's 7 or 8 at the moment. I don't know if there's going to be more coming, but if you want to see more, if you want to see episode 2, 3, 4, and whatever, let me know. So, oh, okay, so is this my inventory? I have a lens, like a magnifying glass. Right, okay. So, I can have a look at myself. No? Okay. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, go up to the front door. Can I go? Oh! Can I go around, down the path? That'd be nice. Sneak in the back. Oh god, what the hell? 
Okay, the lens comes up, comes up automatically. What's this? A murder of crows is eating eagerly. There are so many birds that I cannot see their prey from here. I like that, that a, a group of crows is called a murder of crows. It's one of those nice little facts. A bit weird, but cool. Okay, so can I actually go closer and have a look? Oh, no. Those crows are too vicious. Getting close could be dangerous. <laughs> Looks like there's quite a lot of blood pouring out. What's this? A garbage bin. Judging by the foul odour, I would say it has not been emptied in a fortnight. All right. Well, there's a door over here. Can I go in? Sneak in the back? No, it's latched from the inside. All right, well, let's try the front door like a normal person. Oh, what was that? Could I, like, double-click? Okay, the front door's open. This is strange. Everything is silent. As if there was no one living here. Maybe it's because there's no one living here. Hmm. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Well, of course, we know that he hasn't uh, greased him at the door because he's hanging, probably, in the, the attic. But I guess we have to find out as this character what happened to him. Okay. Is that him? Yeah? Is that Anthony? The years have not been kind to him. <laughs> no, he's, he's got a pixel out of place. <laughs> okay. So there's my coat. As he says, my coat. Anything in it? Apparently not. Okay, a table. What's that? that? That's a note. Those four pixels were a note. Bloody hell. This is going to be pixel hunting on another fucking level, this is. Okay. Okay. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us. And much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years in your service. God bless you. And that's from Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Alright, but they've, uh, they've left. Apparently. Okay. Maybe this is, you know, completely abandoned then, this place. If he's, if he's dead. Who else was living with him? I don't know. There's a, there's a grandfather clock here, and it's the only sound around here. Apart from my dulcet tones, of course. Okay, I can go left or right. I don't think I can go forward at all. So, let's go right. Let's save upstairs for later. Okay. Some sort of dining area, I guess. Okay, what do we got here? A cabinet with glasses and some liqueur bottles. There is also a matchbox. Okay, could that be... Oh, hang on, hang on. These matches could come in useful. Okay. Right, I'm going to recheck everything that I can examine, just in case I can pick something up. What's this? Uh, a machine that plays recorded music. I did not know that Anthony was such an enthusiast of new inventions. Of course, yeah, it's 1891. It's a, it's a gramophone, isn't it? Gonna use it? I think a recording of sound or music can be played if an engraved cylinder or disc is inserted, but I see no such object in this device. Okay, well, let's set fire to it then. <laughs> I guess I can't do that. Okay, uh, there's a deer head overlooking the room with glass eyes. Okay, that might be important. It might not be. I can't go and pick it up. Although that would be a struggle, I think. Uh, we have a fireplace over here. It looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. Maybe I can light a fire. I mean, that is a bit more sensible than trying to burn a gramophone. But there is no need to do that. Fine. Fine. Okay, what's this? Can't have a look at that. Okay. A window? Yep, that large window is wide open, letting the cold, dusk air in. I have a feeling this is just going to be a lot of me reading the text at the bottom. It's probably all going to be describing something that we can't really visualise. Uh, that's still the large window. Okay, there's nothing on the chairs. Can't use the chairs. There's a door here. Is it unlocked? It is! Okay, let's let's go through. Right, into, into a corridor. Uh, I guess let's go left. We can. That's good. Okay. Uh, where are we now? Where are we now? Uh, could this be uh, a plate with some days old leftovers? This could be the kitchen then, I guess, maybe. Is that another note? Oh no, it's the kitchen stove and a cleaning cloth. Ah, ah, the cleaning. I'm probably going to pick up the cleaning cloth. Yes, it might come in handy. I'll take it. Okay. We're building a nice little inventory, I guess. Um... So, can I take the leftovers? No, put them in a the cloth, maybe. Anything on the shelf? Plates and pans. Okay, what's this over here, then? A variety of herbs and ingredients, none of which I want. There's another door. Which I have unlatched. Oh, could this be the back door? Let's find out. It is, okay. So, there's two ways in the building now. Yippee. Alright, okay. Um, let's, let's go back, I guess. Let's keep going this way. 
Can we, oh, actually, we can have a look at the paintings. It's a seascape. There is a small boat struggling against the roaring waves. And what's this one? A rainy mountain landscape. And this... This portrait is crooked. Yes, it is. Ah! Not anymore. Oh, no, it's still crooked. The, the pixels aren't lining up. No. Eww. Okay. I like that. That's cool. Uh, it's an old rosary. A cord of beads with a solid wooden crucifix. That is generally what a rosary is, yes. Okay, I picked up a rosary. Why would I need a rosary? Who knows? I can kind of understand the matches in the old cloth, but a rosary is a bit weird. Anyway, there's like a, some drawers here which I can't have a look at. Uh, another painting. This one depicts a deep, dark forest. But it's not crooked, so I can't have a play with it. Uh, there's a door here. Let's try the door. Oh, what's that? Okay, this one's open. I'll, I'll get to that in a moment, I'm sure. Uh, we've got a bedroom here. Okay, uh, let's start from, from over here, shall we? There's like a coat rack here, I think. <laughs> I'm just making guesses at this point. A wash basin and some toiletries over there. Okay. What's that? A lamp to light the way. Okay, that, that's important, I'm sure. So pick it up. Brilliant. Ah, oh, you know what? Can I combine? Bloody hell I can. Well done there. Is that a cross over there? It might be. There is a discoloration on the wall in the shape of a cross, as if one had hung there for many years and had and been recently removed. Maybe it was this rosary. Maybe I can put it back? No, I, I, I guess not. I'll, I'll save that for something else, I guess. There's nothing of interest in these drawers. Okay. All right. Can't go to sleep or anything? What's this? A note? Oh, yeah, it might be, you know. March 5th, 1891. Master Anthony had made, had made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I have found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray every night without it. Well, I guess that's the one we found. Oh, there's more. May 18th, 1891. Master Anthony has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still... I cannot let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about Master Anthony. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. And September the 15th, Master Anthony is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. What happened to you, Anthony? What happened to you? What made you commit suicide? What's this? Oh, is that like you... Okay, I... it's an empty bowl. Just an empty bowl. Not what I uh, thought it might be. Just like the ones used to feed pets. Right. Okay. And this, this is the window where this clever cat comes through, is it? The window is so dirty that I can barely see through to the outside. Oh, well, may I've got an old cloth. Can we wipe it? No? No. Oh, okay. But, uh, but I can use it. So, ah, okay, we've got the window open. Fantastic. Well, mm, okay. It looks like the window frame is rotten. I would need some kind of cord to hold the window open. Didn't I read that there was a cord of... Seems a bit daft, but... Bloody hell, it works. Oh my goodness, the rosary is for that? It's for keeping the window open. <laughs> the cold wind of the evening is a relief in the suffocating atmosphere. Um, is this to let the cat in, then? There's there's no food waiting. Maybe I should go back to the kitchen and get some food. There wasn't there some... Well, there were some scraps. There were some leftovers on the on the table. Maybe I can get them now. Okay, I can't actually have a look at the bed at all. What's that? There is a tiny dark hole in the wall. Well, let's see if we can illuminate this. No? Oh, come on. Really? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Um, anyway, let, let's go back out. Let's go back out. Maybe the cat's going to jump in at some point. I'll keep my eye out for food, but I want to see what happens when I try and open this door. And what's that stain on the floor? Hmm, okay. This door is locked. I should try and find the key to open it. Right, I'm going to head back to the kitchen just, just for a little bit. I'm just going to check I can't pick up that food or any type of food just to put it in the bowl. Because I think the cat might be integral to the story. I'm not sure why. But, uh, it's a very clever cat, apparently. So, there's plates and pans over, the, over there. There's some days-old leftovers. Can I put them in a cloth? I was kind of joking about it. 
Okay, it's not like, no, I don't want you to clean it. I want you to put it in the cloth. Never mind. Nothing up there. And there's just herbs and ingredients there. Okay, I don't think there's anything I can actually get. So, okay, forget that. Forget that. Let's go back. Um, right, I, I guess there's like another half of the house to have a look at. So let's go back this way. And let's go... What is, it? is it just upstairs? I think it might be. Yeah, upstairs. Oh, I've got my lamp and my lantern out. Okay. <laughs> I guess I needed that. Can we have a look at the paintings here? No. Okay, let's try this door first. This is quite cool, actually, I've got to say. This door is stuck. It won't open. If you can look past the pixelated graphics, it's... There's a lot to see, strangely. I know that sounds wrong. Can I... No, I don't have the matches anymore. I guess the matches aren't needed anymore. Oh, what's this? What's this? This doorway has been boarded up. Why? Why? Can we pry them off? Um, no. They are firmly nailed down. I cannot remove them with my bare hands. Well, what if you were holding a cloth while you were doing... No, probably not. No, one, not gonna work. What if I... Here we go. What if I... S <laughs> set fire to it? No. <laughs> no, that would probably be a very, very dumb idea. Some square areas on the walls are visibly cleaner. It looks like some of the paintings are missing. Why? Yeah, there's, there's another one over there. Does it say anything different? No. I can't actually have a look at the ones that are here. Strangely. There's another one. It's been missing. And another one. Okay, a couple of doors. Let's try this one. It's open. Brilliant. Progress. And it's another bedroom. A little bit nicer. Maybe this was his. It's got his face up there. I think. Or, well, someone who looks a little bit like him. It's a gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. And I can actually have a look at this bed. It's a double bed. From the accumulated dust, I would guess it had not been slept in for a very long time. Could be his, then. Okay, there's, there's like three pixels on the side table. Can we have a look at what they are? Okay, it's, it's a silver key. Pick up that silver key. And there's one that's just a little bit out of place. But I guess that's actually nothing. That's just part of the table. So a silver key. Okay. Um, well, it could be to that door with the stain on it, I suppose. Let's see what else we got here. The, fly the fireplace is black with soot. I don't have the matches anymore, so I can't try lighting it. I've had a look at the painting. What's this? What we got here? Small photographs and old... Uh, that's a word I've never seen before. Daguerreotypes? Mostly family portraits, anyway. Fine. I can't pick any of them up, either. Are these windows or doors? What's going on? It's a window... Oh, it leads... Okay, it leads to a balcony shared with the adjacent room. Okay, let's go to the adjacent room. Or let's not. I cannot open the latch. It is stuck. Perhaps I could do so using a small tool. Like a key. <laughs> not really a small tool, but... No, it's a latch, isn't it? The key is too thick. I need something thinner to remove the latch. Okay. Well, he actually took it seriously. I'm kind of surprised. Um, okay. That might, in fact, be everything in this room examined. So, let's leave. Yeah, you can double-click on doors to leave quickly. That's kind of cool. I really do like this, you know. I hope you do, too. Uh, it might be quite nice just to go back and forth between this and Eternal Darkness. Let's try this. Okay. Ah, this one is locked. Oh, it's locked from the inside. I was wondering this could be what the silver key is for. I guess I'll still try. Maybe knock the other key out. Okay, it's not going to work. Hmm. Okay, and something on the table in the corner, which, which I can't have a look at. And again, more areas where paintings used to be. Oh, this is cool. I really, really like the background music. That is a highlight for me right now. Right, I think my next move is probably going to be trying the silver key on the door downstairs with the stain on the doorway. Let's give that a go. So, head over there really quickly. That way. It's the one all the one all the way to the right, isn't it? This one here. Yeah? Yeah, that worked, that worked. Okay, here we go. Oh, I see. Okay. It leads to a a, a basement, I guess. What's this? I think this is a slate disc record. The sleeve reads, The Carnival of Venice. Okay. Can I pick it up? I can. 
Brilliant. Okay, I've got a record. I guess I should pay the uh, gramophone another visit then. No idea what this is, but he doesn't seem to be that bothered by it. What's this? Looks a bit out of place. It's a slightly rusted iron crowbar. Crowbar could help. Crowbar could really help. Maybe I could get across to uh, through through the balcony, or 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 pry the boards off the doorway. Let's keep let's keep going. Let's keep going. What's this? A small pile of firewood, twigs and chunks of dry bark. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there, I guess. Furnace, kind of. The boiler looks like it has been out of use for a long time. All right, let's keep going. Okay, fine. That looks really weird. But I can't examine it, so fine. It might just be the light bouncing off the wall. Okay, I have a crowbar and I've got a record. I suppose I want to go to the, the gramophone first. Okay, so here we are. Let's try the record with this, yeah? Well, it works. That's a strange sound. It must be broken. I do not know how to make it stop. Shit. Uh, this is actually kind of freaky. Which is kind of hard to do when this game is so pixelated. Um, if that's going to keep going, we'll just have to let it keep going. The crowbar, though. I want to try the crowbar upstairs. Uh, oh, no. Maybe, not, maybe I don't. The music has abruptly stopped. For some reason. Did it break? Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. Uh... Oh, uh, they're crows. They're crows. Okay. I've seen the birds. I don't like the look of this. I'm gonna leave, if that's okay with you guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, were they the same crows that were killing something outside? Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, let's let's keep going. I want to go up here. I want to try the crowbar. <laughs> 